and many thanks for joining me, Elvis, for yet another Somerset Real Ale review, my 300th review. So thank you very much for everyone who's subscribed and watching and commenting and what have you. Uh, I do apologise once again for not um, not doing putting out a review for such a long time, but I quite frankly just haven't had anything to review. I've got something good to review today, um, so uh, as you can guess from the title, I've got it here. You may notice it's already poured. There is a reason for that. Came straight off the cask. Um, I didn't have the cask. It went into a bottle that's in the fridge, and I um, don't have a bottle for the beer to open. Or if you get what I mean, um, it is the chocolate slug. But I've got an old slug from um, RCH Brewery, Porter. But this one's with chocolate in it. I have got a picture on my phone, which is probably ah, oh, there we go, a picture of the label or the pump clip on my phone there. So that is the actual beer I will be reviewing. There is no information with this beer, um, but I have had this beer before. Um, I had it uh, Weatherspoons at the, their uh, Real Ale Festival, and I was blown away by it, literally. So I'm going to review it for you today anyway, um, see what you think, or see what I think again from the, uh, from the comfort of my, um, my back room. Anyway, as you can see, it looks very similar to the, um, the uh, normal uh, slug porter. Um, no hell on it, obviously it has been sat here for a while trying to warm up because the beer has been in my fridge. Um, it's pretty jet black, there's a little bit of dark, um, brownish light coming through on the base. Um, there wasn't any head on it when I poured the beer either but I did pour it quite gently because I didn't want to disturb it too much. Let's get a nose on there. Oh, it is just so full of chocolate, it's unbelievable. It's just a dark sort of multi aroma dark chocolatey multi aroma it's sweet it's um it's like um not a really 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 dark chocolate like a green and black sort of 85 percent it's more of a sort of a cabris bonville sort of thing but you've got raisins in there as well you've got sort of molasses smells sticky, syrupy as well, like um, like a golden syrup. Perhaps something darker than that, the dark, the, the, the dark syrup they make. And sh sugary, it's just sweet, chocolatey, molasses. Um, I wouldn't go so far as fruity. Maybe slightly nutty. Incredible aroma on this beer, absolutely incredible. It's just, uh, uh, this is why I was blown away by it. I wanted to just sit here and just smell it and taste it. It smells a bit like um, Bourbon biscuits or cookies we get in the UK. They're like an oblong chocolate biscuit with a fondant in the middle. It does smell a bit like that, which is just fantastic. I'm going to have to dig into this because I've waited too long. Cheers, everybody. Oh. <laughs> right. There's not a lot of carbonation in this. Um, I, I'm putting that down to the fact that it has been shaken around in the boot of my car and it's been in the fridge for a few days and I've poured it and let it stand. So it, the, the carbonation, but I'm not gonna, uh, it, the, the, the pint I had in the pub was carbonated, um, it, I, but obviously this has gone through quite an ordeal to get here and be reviewed, so I'm not gonna let that affect the review at all. But the, the flavors in there are phenomenal. <laughs> I gotta dig in again. Right. It's initially quite bitter, and the sweetness comes afterwards with that sort of dark chocolate hit, and you're left off with a nice bitter aftertaste in your mouth. Um, there's not a huge amount of sweetness in this beer. This is what I think perhaps what I like about it so much because it's not very sickly. It's you could easily session this beer. I don't actually know the ABV of it. I'm sure it was actually on my phone. I just if I can multitask and unlock my phone. It's a 5%, I should have looked at that before, 5% uh, ABV, um, so it is sessionable. It 
you just get such a massive hit of chocolate. They have used chocolate essence, I think, in this beer. Um, and you can really tell. It's a real hit and I really hope they, I think they brewed it as a sort of a one-off special, but I really hope they continue brewing this beer and bottle it as well because it is absolutely fantastic. I haven't got anything to read for you, so um, this part of the review I'm a bit stumped because I don't know what to do. I normally read the bottle, those of you who know my reviews. Um, RCH Brewer, I believe they've got a website, um, maybe it's on here, that's where I thought I'd bring it. Um, no, they haven't got their website on the, on the um, on the uh, beer, but I'll let you see their address there if you ever want to get hold of them. Um, <clears throat> I actually think they have got a website, but I'm not sure what it is. It's probably, if you just Google RCH Brewery, I'm sure you'll find them. Um, I think rating wise on this beer, It's just such a lovely flavour beer. It's got a. It's not a full body. It's, a, it's got a medium to light body on this beer, which is a. It's not heavy, but you've got so much flavour packed into a really sessionable beer, and that's what I just love about it. Um, I've got to give this beer a nine out of ten. I just absolutely love it. Um, it is really up there with those top beers that I've tried. And from a local brewery, I think that's just great. Um, thanks for watching me. Love to see your comments in the comments box, although I have a job, job to reply to them now because of Google. Um, thanks to all my subscribers. Uh, I can't believe I've done 300 reviews already, although it has been over two years, so it's taken me quite a long time, but I don't review every day. Um, glad to be back reviewing. I have really missed it, as you can tell. I've gone on for nearly seven and a half minutes now. Um, I'm going to get some more beers and start reviewing again because I really do miss this uh, this, um, this sort of reviewing. Um, it's the Great Welsh uh, Beer Festival next week, um, which I will be going to, so I'll probably release a video of that, which will be quite entertaining, as uh, especially towards the end of the video when I've had a few too many jars. Once again, thanks so much to everybody. I hope you enjoyed this and cheers.